Hi, Chris Good here. Uh, I've been promising folks for a long time that we'd do a series of videos uh, to help people who are trying to cut electric guitars on a CNC um, and using Fusion 360 to uh, make the tool pads and the designs and, and everything like that. Uh, so this is really step zero in that whole process. Um, and I, I'm actually not going to open Fusion 360 in uh, uh, this video quite yet. Because uh, we're going to start with step zero by uh, looking for a plan um, for the guitar and then uh, opening it in Inkscape so we can save it as a vector um, graphic or a scalable vector graphic file, the S .svg file. Then we're going to open that up in Fusion and scale it so that it's um, the right size. Okay. Um, a lot of people are designing their own guitars in Fusion 360, starting from scratch. I, they're beautiful. They're really, really gorgeous. I'm going to start with the design that already exists, and so I'm going to go look for an existing schematic for a Fender Telecaster. Now, I should uh, state the following disclaimer. I'm not trying to put Fender out of business. I think they make lovely guitars. I've bought a lot of Fender guitars myself, and um, I'm not trying to build a guitar to sell as a Fender guitar at all. This is for my own personal, private, personal use. And um, I, this is merely an exercise in how to tell Fusion 360 to carve out a solid body electric guitar. So um, I'm hopeful that that falls well within a fair use of any copyrighted or patented designs. All right, so I actually found, and nevertheless, online, the sketch of a Fender Telecaster pickguard, and if we preview this, it's got the pickguard, sorry, and the body as well, and the body's what we're interested in at this point. So um, the sketch outlines pockets for the bridge pickup and the neck pickup and channels for routing wiring, and this is the pocket that's underneath the control panel, this is the hole that leads to the output jack, and here's a pocket ready to go for the neck itself and little holes for um, putting this uh, pick guard in place when it's ready. So um, this is exactly what we need. Um, it's got this nice center line going right through the center. That's going to come in super handy later on. So I really like this. It's very simple. It doesn't have any other stuff in the image that we'll have to delete in Fusion later on. So in order to convert this into uh, an SVG file that we can import into Fusion uh, in the sketch uh, section of the program, I'm just going to open this in Inkscape. So what's really cool about Inkscape, so I'm just clicking OK. I'm leaving the PDF import settings at their default. And what's cool about Inkscape is when you open some, but not all PDFs. Let's zoom in. Um, actually, read stuff as vectors. So you, you can click on this um, node editor, and when you hover it over part of it, it'll highlight vectors. So that's super, super handy. Um, you'll notice, though, that there's a couple of lines here that don't appear to be connected. right? So this one is kind of uh, orphaned by itself. Um, that's really, and there's a little part in here that's also sort of left on its own. We're not going to try to edit them here in um, Inkscape, although you probably could. Um, we're just going to export this entire thing, including the pick guard, as a um, SVG file. And so you just go to File and Save As, and Fender Telecaster Body Pick Guard SVG. Save it to the desktop. And we're done with Inkscape. I'm going to quit out of there. Now that we've got this SVG file, we're going to go to the Fusion side. And I've got a completely blank canvas here, just sort of staring me at the face. I'm looking down onto the XY plane along the Z axis. I don't see the origin because it's hidden, so I'm going to reveal it by turning on this little light bulb. And there we see the origin. So if we rotate this, you can see I'm looking down on the XY plane. Um, X is red, Y is green, Z is blue, XYZ is RGB. 
Okay, so we're going to create a new sketch in the XY plane because that's where the body of the guitar is going to lie on our CNC. It's also going to be on the table in the in the XY plane. So notice we're in the model side. We're really going to be working in um, three sort of areas here. We're going to be working in the model and we're going to work in the sketch environment. Um, at some point later we're going to patch a couple of things, so creating some uh, surfaces uh, that, that don't exist in the model. And uh, to do toolpaths will be on the manufacturer side. Um, a lot of the work though is done here in the model workspace. So we're going to click here to create a new sketch. And the first thing you have to do is select the plane that the sketch is going to be in. So I want it to be in the XY plane, and I'm just going to click here on the XY plane. There we go. Okay, now we're in the sketch environment, and we have the option to stop sketch here. We also have the option to insert something. So I'm going to insert that SVG that we just created. So we'll open the SVG file. There it is. Fender Telecaster Body Pick Guard. All right. Um, we actually don't see the pin. There it is. I have to zoom out just a little bit. And, you know, the move controls uh, are open to begin with, so you can place this SVG where you want to in your sketch. Um, I'm going to just click OK. It doesn't really matter where this first one goes because this isn't the, the SVG, uh, the form of the SVG that we're going to import. When you click OK, that drops you back into the sketch environment. And what I want to do here is check the width of the neck pocket. Uh, you could use some other known dimension of the guitar, but this is one. This is the one f that, for the body, is actually the most important one. And if the you know if these pockets aren't uh, exactly the right size, the pickup's still going to drop in, and you can make adjustments to them if if they don't. Um, you know the string holes. Uh, same deal there. If they're not like completely the right size by a thousandth of an inch, then you're not going to be in trouble. But the neck's got to fit into this pocket like nice and snug. So we want this to be exactly what the spec is. And, um, you know, you can look up various uh, types of necks, but it's really pretty consistent. We want this uh, distance here to be um, 2 and 3 sixteenths inches. Um, so that ends up being uh, 2.1875 uh, inches. So if we measure this, from here to here, it'll tell us we're pretty close. We're at 2.204 inches. Um, if we just do a little calculation here and see if 2.875 inches over 2.204 inches, actually, let's do the other way around. 2.204 inches is, um, and 2. Point, sorry, is 2.1875. Right? That's 3 sixteenths. 3 sixteenths. 1875. Okay, so 2.2. 2. 2.1875 out of 2.204. So this brings us a scaling factor of like 99%. It's so close. It's really, really close. But sometimes you might have a PDF that's scaled slightly differently, like you might get 85% of the scale that you want. Um, the scaling factor here, uh, I've done the math so that we're going to type this in, we're going to re-import the SVG, All right? so we're going to close this, and we're going to undo insert SVG. Now we're going to re-insert that SVG and select the same file. All right, let's back up here. We're going to do a couple of things. We're going to scale the XY plane. I'm just going to paste in that calculation that I just made to 0.9925. Right, that's the scaling factor that we just calculated. I'm also going to move this over to a pl place that I want it to be at. So I want it to align left to right with the X axis. And this doesn't really matter so much, but I'm going to try to sort of line this up with the zero line 
on Y and then line up the back of the neck pocket on the X axis. Um, you know, we could play around with this and dial it in until it's like sitting right on top of those lines, but it doesn't really matter, so I'm just going to click OK. Now, when we go back to the measure function, I'm going to check that width of the neck pocket one more time, and it says it's 2.188, 2.1875. It's so close, it's rounded up to the thousandth of an inch, um, and that's fine. That's good enough. So we've imported um, a vector plan for the body of the guitar. We're going to do the same thing with uh, another separate sketch of the PDF. That's going to be in the next video. So we're done with step zero. On to step one. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like, and we'll see you next time.